Following the successful Starship Flight 3, SpaceX is charging ahead to swiftly address any lingering challenges and prepare for the eagerly anticipated next launch, slated to occur in just six weeks' time. With Flight 4 on the horizon, SpaceX is laser-focused on achieving readiness, implementing targeted modifications to Ship 29 and Booster 11. These crucial adjustments are essential to guarantee a seamless and flawless launch experience for the next phase of Starship's journey into space. But what adjustments are needed for Starship and why? Let's get into this and more in today's episode of Space X Flight. But before we get in, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you don't miss another awesome episode. And with that, let's dive right in. Amidst the test, a pivotal revelation emerged regarding the grid fins vital for aerodynamic control during descent through the atmosphere. Booster 11's adaptation stems directly from insights gleaned from the Booster 10's landing, characterized by unsettling instability. Witnessing B-10's erratic roll underscores the urgency for adjustments, signaling potential issues with the actuator's governing fin movement. This crucial aspect of Starship development promises significant evolution in the upcoming flight, heightening anticipation for the next chapter. Prior to the super-heavy booster's demise, a critical concern emerged with the failed relight of several Raptor engines. Those that reignited couldn't muster enough thrust for timely deceleration, echoing past issues like those encountered during Flight 2's boostback burn. The recurring blockage dilemma underscores the urgency for thorough examination of the engine's plumbing and related technical intricacies. As for the ship, it faced its own share of hurdles, including orientation glitches that culminated in a fiery outcome. Evidently, Reinforced measures are imperative, particularly for the heat shield tiles tasked with shielding the ship from re-entry temperatures exceeding 1,700 degrees Celsius. Furthermore, numerous relatively intact heat shield tiles have been discovered in and around the launch site, hinting at the loss of many tiles due to the extreme liftoff conditions and vibrations, exacerbated by their weak connection to the Starship body. With over 18,000 tiles in total, Conducting individual inspections proves to be both time-consuming and financially burdensome, particularly amidst ongoing ship operations such as rocket stacking. Destacking, causing mechanical vibrations and fuel loading and unloading, cause thermal expansion, which both collectively weaken the connection of heat shield tiles, making them loose. We haven't seen Starship preform full re-entry, as the ship was in the incorrect orientation, causing the ship to burn up. However, SpaceX will attempt this soon, on the fourth test flight, where the tiles will preform fine. Another crucial adjustment pertains to the payload dispenser door, which, during the third test flight, exhibited some anomalies. It experienced difficulties in proper opening and closing and appeared to unexpectedly pop open mid-flight, potentially posing future operational challenges. SpaceX is committed to thoroughly investigating these occurrences to address any issues encountered during the third flight. Perhaps the most pivotal alteration to the ship involves the implementation of a new reaction control system, RCS, to manage the spacecraft's attitude during re-entry and descent through the atmosphere. During the third flight, the system failed to mitigate high roll rates during the coast phase, which proved problematic upon re-entry, leading to the premature disintegration of the vehicle. Consequently, upgrades to the RCS system are imminent to ensure improved performance and reliability. Overall, SpaceX is poised to scrutinize the root causes of previous flight anomalies and rectify them accordingly, as well as deal with new issues that pop up later on. Once these challenges are surmounted and the rockets cease their fiery fate seen in previous flights, the next phase of development can commence. That's all for today's episode. We really hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. Please share your thoughts with us in the comment box below. We value your input and it helps us create better videos for you. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.